Hello, and welcome to Atlantic City, New Jersey, mostly known for its beaches, bars, and casinos. But what else is behind this Jersey Shore city? How about the Atlantic City Beach Patrol, the first and oldest surf and rescue squad in the country? Now, approaching its 125th anniversary, the North Carolina Avenue Beach in Atlantic City was the perfect location for Red Bull's first surf and rescue lifeguard competition. 33 teams from New Jersey and Delaware made the trip to Atlantic City Tuesday night in order to compete in this inaugural event. Local teams such as Lavalette, Spring Lake, Seeger, and Manasquan all sent teams of four, three males and one female, to represent and show what their beach patrols are capable of. The Lavalette Beach Patrol was happy to be a part of the competition and put it all on the line against fellow lifeguards, the clock, and the ocean. We love coming down to Atlantic City for any competition. You know, you got the buildings all around you, your nightlife everywhere. It's, once it starts to, you know, sun starts to set, it really builds a scene for you. Um, you know, you got the pier. Uh, and, you know, 32 teams coming down, just it's quite an experience. There were four rounds of grueling events that showcased just what it takes to be a lifeguard and protect the beachgoers day in and day out. The first round was a swim relay where each team member swam out 100 meters around a blue buoy and 50 meters parallel to shore before swimming back 100 meters, and then completing a 50 meter run to transition to the next member of the team. All four members had to complete the swim, and the first 20 teams to finish moved on to the next round. With little time between each round, teams began preparing for the next event while the rest of the team was still finishing the relay. The short rest period came as a surprise to Ben Smith, a member of the Lavalette team. The hard part about today's event, there's definitely ground and pounding going back to back. You know, I read, um, I read online before the event started that there would be a 20 minute break between each event, and that didn't happen. You know, it was, it was pretty tight back to back, but I mean, we had to just recover and get going on to the next one. Lavalette made their way into round two, which was a board paddle relay. This time, competitors went out 150 meters and had to transition and finish with board in hand. Lavalette fell behind after the first two legs, but picked up the pace to finish 14th, much to the delight of team member Joe Cosino. Uh, I'd say my best event was the paddle today. Uh, we were kind of behind in that, and then I think we actually caught up, beat a couple guys, and got 14th in that. Best popsicle stick I've ever had, ever. So that was exciting. I think we really pulled through there. Three where only eight out of the remaining 16 teams would move on to the final round. Even harder than the last, the round three course was a run, row, run event. One team member ran 100 meters along the shoreline, around an American flag, and back before transitioning to the next two members, who had to row their Van Dwine rescue boat out 300 meters, parallel to shore 80 meters, and back 300 more meters before their final team member could start their 200 meter run around the American flag. You know, we got 12th, I think, around there overall. It's not bad. I think, you know, we're definitely, we're a young team. You look around, you see some guys around here who are, you know, late 20s, early 30s, you know, and our team's made up of two kids who are 20 and then a 22 year old and a, you know, a girl who's just had a kid actually, you know. So I think, given the circumstances, you know, given our age of the team and, you know, our experience, we, we did pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. The final round was a swim, board, paddle, row, relay event. The first team member swam, the next member paddled, and the final two performed one more 680 meter row. After the board paddle leg, it appeared Barnegat Light had a significant lead, but the ocean showed no mercy and the competition became tight during the row. Seagirt Beach Patrol managed to row their way into first and caught a wave on the way in to increase their lead. After landing safely ashore, Alex Deanna raced through the sand and under the Red Bull arch to win the competition. Harvey Cedars finished second to an excited crowd, and third place was a photo finish as Team Vetner just snagged a popsicle stick and a spot in the winner's circle. First place took home $5,000, a custom Van Dwine rescue boat, and a high performance swim package. Second place earned $2,000, while third place got $1,000. Red Bull pulled out all the stops for their first surf and rescue competition. The two and a half hour event really displayed to the few hundred spectators what it takes to hold the lifeguard position. Lavalette Beach Patrol's Nicole also Brooks, along with 10 month old daughter Genevieve, were happy to come out for the event and enjoyed the experience. Um, the competition was one of the most difficult that I've done. Um, the buoys are out there, so we don't really train like that every day. So to come out here and do that, it was, it was a great experience. Tuesday's weather was perfect for the competition, and Atlantic City's Beach Patrol history made it just a bit more special. For more details on the event, Pick up a copy of the July 24th issue of The Ocean Star. Reporting for Star News Group, I'm Dominic Polio.